The problem is job sequencing with deadlines. This problem can be solved using branch and bound. Even this problem can be solved using greedy method and dynamic programming. But let us learn how it can be solved using branch and bound. But one thing we should remember that branch and bound is useful for solving minimization problem. It cannot solve maximization. If you know something about job sequencing with deadline, it is a maximization problem like profits are given for the jobs and we want the maximum profit. So we have converted the problem instead of profit, we are taking penalty here. So penalty means we have to pay, right? We will not gain, but we will lose. So instead of profit, we are calling it as penalty. So now the problem is to select the jobs and finish them within their deadline such that the penalty is minimized. Now, if you are minimizing the penalty means automatically the profit is maximized. So just the name we have changed instead of profit, we are calling it as penalty. And one more thing here is these are the deadlines for each job and these are the times taken by each job. The amount of time taken for completion of the jobs is varying. It is not same one unit of time. They are having different times. We will solve it using branch and bound and the approach of solving is by generating a state space tree. So we will be generating the nodes and for each node we will define two values. We will identify, we compute two values that are cost and upper bound. Let us see what is upper bound and cost. See upper bound for each node will be sum of all the penalties except those which are included in the solution. <laughs> So upper bound is sum of all the penalties except those which are included in a solution and the cost is sum of all the penalties till the job that you have considered. So cost is sum of all the penalties till the last job that we have considered. If S is the set of jobs that are included in a solution, then the upper bound is sum of the penalties of all those jobs which are not in that set. And the cost is the sum of all those jobs that are not in the set. Their penalties are added. And here we will consider up to the job that we have taken. So let us say kth job, up to kth job. So while solving, I'll explain how these two are calculated. Let us generate a state space tree. This is the first node. And the cost is nothing, zero. And the upper bound is infinity. And here we'll maintain one value that is upper. And that is also we'll keep it as infinity. Now, one by one, we'll consider the job. First job, let us say it is included in the solution. First job. If job one is included, then what is the cost? If job one is included in the cost, then till job one, you see. So anything we are skipping, nothing we are skipping. So the cost is zero only. Now, when first job is in the solution, remaining jobs penalties, so that is 10 plus 6 plus 3. So penalties 10 plus 6 plus 3 is 19. So this is upper. Now we got one upper value, which is less than that infinity. So update this one, 19. Now next job. Job one is over. So job two, third node. What is the cost? See, this means that we are including second job. So first job we are not doing. So what is the penalty of first job? Five, five. And what is upper? So except second job, we have to take the penalties of all. So this is five plus six plus three. Five plus six plus three is 14. So this is updated to 14. So if we are getting any new upper value, which is smaller than that one, we will change it. Now the next node will consider third job. That is job three. So here the cost. So it means that we are just taking third job. We are not doing first, second and fourth job. So till third job, if you consider till here only we should consider. So how many jobs we are leaving? That is five and 10. So five and 10. So that is 15. Now, one more thing we learn. See what I was doing every node. I was calculating cost and upper bound cost and upper bound. If the upper bound is smaller, I was changing that one. But one more thing you also have to do that is what is the cost now 15? What is the upper bound 14? So that upper bound shows that if we are getting some penalty at most, we may be getting 14. 
but this cost has increased exceeded so kill this node so this node is killed then fifth node this means only job four so when you are doing only job four then all three jobs we are skipping so five ten and six so this is five plus a ten plus six and this is 21 cost is higher than 14 so kill this node no need of finding upper bound at all I have only two live nodes which are not killed let us expand so this node I will expand so first job one was done now job two and also I should try job three and job four so I'll calculate them one by one six seventh and eight node so what is the cost see this means that we have included first job also second job also so we are at second job right so is there anything that we are skipping no both the jobs we are doing so the cost will be zero and what will be the upper bound upper bound is when we are doing first job and second job remaining is nine so this is nine upper bound is nine oh we got a minimum value that is less than 14 so update it to nine then next cost of this one so the cost of this one is this means that first job and third job we are doing we are not doing second job that is penalty is a 10 so cost is 10 and what is upper 9 kill this node then cost of this node j is 4 j1 j4 so j1 and j4 so we are not doing j2 and j3 that is 16 so the cost is 16 kill this node that is greater than 9 now which node we should explore second node we have already explored let us explore third node now third node this is ninth node see this is job 2 so we can do job 3 and job 4 tenth node let me calculate the cost see the cost of this one is this says second job and third job so we are doing second job and third job which job we are not doing first job we are not doing so the cost will be five is it less than nine yes then what is upper bound i will calculate upper bound also so out of all we are doing second job and third job remaining job so that is first and fourth so that is five plus three it is eight oh we got a minimum value update it to eight a tenth node cost see this says second job and fourth job we are doing so we are not doing first job and third job right we are on the fourth job now so this is 11 so this is 5 plus 6 that is 11 and the 11 is greater than 8 so kill this node next one which we should explore this one so this one if it is explored then this is job 3 see here the problem solving is lengthy so i am showing you what are the things you should do in steps now at this stage i can explain you that you have to consider one more thing while doing all these that we did not do now we need it what is that doing job one and job two as well as job three is it possible or not job one's deadline is one okay that is in first hour and job two's deadline is three okay it will wait till third hour then job three's deadline is two job three's deadline is two so let us check them job one deadline is one job two's deadline is three and job three's deadline is one and what are the processing time one plus two plus one see if i complete these two together then the total time taken will be three total time will be taken three this job doesn't require one hour it requires two hours so first hour will do this and remaining two hours this job can be done so there is no time left for doing this job so it means when you have taken first job and second job third job cannot be done based on their time not based on the deadline based on the time because this needs two hours so this job cannot be done so need not generate this note next fourth job fourth job also the same case it also need one time so this cannot be done now which is the last live node remaining this is killed this is killed this one so let us expand this one so what i can take here job 2 job 3 job 4 can we do job 4 let us check see job 2 is done that needs two units of time and deadline is three and the job three it's deadline is two and it needs one unit of time so they can finish off in three hours 
Now, fourth job, it needs one extra time. So this cannot be done. So this is also infeasible and that's all. This is infeasible. We have finished the entire tree. Then what is the minimum penalty or what is the minimum cost we got? That is eight and five. This is the node. So the cost that we got is five and the penalty is got as eight. What are the jobs that we'll be doing? Job two and job three job two and job three so if we complete job two and job three then the penalties that we will be saving are 10 and 6 that is 16 and how much penalty we have to pay job one and job four are not done so their penalties are five and three so that is eight so the penalty that we will be paying is eight so that's how we got the solution